Hi. Now, got an example on using the trapezium rule here. So, uh, if you'd like to uh, give this a try, I'll just give you a few moments to pause the video. In the meantime, though, what I'm going to do is just read out the question. What we've got then is that this figure, figure 1, shows a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals x, all divided by 1 plus root x. And the finite region R, shown shaded in the figure, is bounded by the curve, okay, the x-axis, and the lines x equals 1 and x equals 4. And what we've got to do is, in part A, complete the table of y values corresponding to x equals 3, and give our answer to four decimal places. And then in part B, we've got to go on to use the trapezium rule with all the values of y in the completed table to obtain an estimate for the area of the region R, giving our answer this time, though, to three decimal places. So, OK, if you've, as I say, like to pause the video, give this a go, then uh, come back when ready and work through the solution. OK, welcome back, if you had a go. So, first of all then, if we're to find this value when x is 3, all you've got to do is just substitute 3 into the formula here for y. If you do that, what you should find you get to four decimal places is 1.0981. OK? Now, we need to use the trapezium rule uh, with these values in this table to get an approximate uh, estimation for this area R. So you can see we've got x equals 1 here and then if we take 2 it would be say somewhere like that, 3 maybe something like that. These widths would obviously be equal so I'm slightly out on that okay but the width here of each strip is clearly one unit. And you should be familiar with the trapezium rule, very easy. I've written it out in words because I believe that it's a lot easier to work with the wordy version. Okay, And that is that the area is approximately equal to the width of a strip, that will be one unit here, divided by two, and then you do the first height, that's this height here, plus twice the sum of all the middle heights, that will be that one plus that one, and then we plus the last height, that's that height there. So let's see where that takes us then with this. So as an intro, I'm just going to write area. The area is approximately, okay, going to be the width of a strip. Well, the width is clearly one unit. You can always see from the table what the width is going to be just because of the values of x, they go up in steps of one. So it's going to be one divided by. 2, OK, and then we've got the first height, let's just put that in, the first height is the first y value, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 units up there, and then it's plus twice the sum of the middle heights, so it's going to be these two here for 2 and 3, so it's going to be 0 0.8284 plus 1.0981. And close that bracket off, and then it's plus the last height, and the last height is 1.3333. Okay, so close that bracket off, and if you work this out, what you end up with is that it equals 2.84315, and we've got to give this area to four decimal places. So if I round that to four decimal places, one, two, three, four, then it's going to be 2.8432. OK? And what we'll say is we'll just write that to four dp, four decimal places. OK, so I hope that gives you an idea on using the trapezium rule.